Here at the hospice we have a bereavement team um, and the idea is when someone dies and they've been connected with the hospice, their family and their friends are entitled to have support from us. So that can be in the children's unit if a child dies, we'll look after siblings and parents, grandparents. Last year my brother died of Birkin's lymphoma, which is a disease of cancer. And I came here because I was really sad about Will. I didn't know how to act about it. I just felt really sad about it all the time. And I couldn't cope with it. But when I came here, it was amazing because you get to be with each other. You get to do lots of things and you get to learn that it's OK. And not all OK because you will have the sad memories still. You'll always remember who you've lost. but you'll still be feel happy again and it, and it does get a lot better. At different ages, children understand death in a different way. We, we were donated a church, which started off with a wedding in it, but what we've done is we've changed it. We now have a coffin in it. Um, and it's amazing the questions that children will ask about, well, where does the coffin go? What happens to the body? Um, we, we, we will tell them the truth. Working with adults and children alike, we use similar ideas. So what we try and do is get people to talk and talk and talk. And we ask people to do memory jars, memory beads. Um, we ask people just to use pen and paper and write down and, and draw. I'd probably choose this one because it reminds me of how we used to have treasure hunts on the beach and there used to be like little glass right. seesaw right. things. And did you do that together? Yeah. A lot of young adults now in, in the children's and young adults unit who see friends dying, they have the same condition, they know they're going to die, but they don't know when, so they just need to talk it through sometimes. So it's a pre-bereavement support. Um, we find a lot of people will come and say, I can't talk to my family in case I upset them. Um, I can't cry in front of people. And what we say is, this is a safe place. It's a confidential place. And if you want to sit and cry in here, you can sit and cry. Because it's really important to get rid of those emotions that come with crying. We really need to show our emotions. It's really important. It's healthy grieving. When we first started to meet up, you said to me once that you were really worried that you might forget Will. Mm-hmm. Do you think you've forgotten him? No. No, no, I haven't at all. At all, have you? No. I know everything that I remember about him and I remember everything about it. I also write down all every everything that's happened in the little memory box and I remember him every day. And there's some very sad times, but there are some very happy times as well. When, when people come to terms with the loss and realise I can actually do this now on my own. I'm able to go forward, make decisions and have life the way I want to have it. For all, I'll miss this person terribly. And that's when they come and say, thank you, I don't think I need to come back. And that's when my team think, yes, we've got success. And it's a really happy time. <laughs>